Hello and welcome to an Affinity Revolution tutorial. My name is Ezra Anderson, and today we're going to take this picture to learn how to change eye color in Affinity Photo. We'll be using the iPad version of this program, but the same technique we learn can easily be used on the desktop version of Affinity Photo. If you'd like to follow along with the same image I'll be using, I've included a download link in the video description. The first thing we need to do to change eye color is add a new pixel layer. To do this, we'll come to the Layer Studio and then press on the plus button and select New Pixel Layer. We're going to paint on this pixel layer to change the eye color. To begin painting, we'll need to select the paintbrush. Then we need to change the color to the color that we want to change the eye to. Then we can begin painting on the eye. I recommend that you decrease the hardness to 0%. And depending on the size of your picture, you might also want to change the width. Because this is a high resolution picture, I'm going to increase the width so I can paint more quickly. Now I'm going to continue painting across the eye. Right now our eye is looking a little strange, but don't worry, once we change the blend mode, it will look great. To change this layer's blend mode, we're going to press on the three circles at the top left of the layer studio. Then we'll change the blend mode from normal to color. The color blend mode allows you to change the color of your image without affecting how bright or dark it is. After changing the blend mode to color, we've successfully changed the eye color. But before we finish this video, I want to share a couple tips with you. The first tip for you is that we can use an HSL adjustment to easily change the color of the pixel layer that we painted on. By changing the color of this pixel layer, we'll also change the color of the eye. To do this, we'll come to the Adjustment Studio and then select HSL. Then click and drag on the Hue slider in the Contextual Toolbar. Right now this adjustment is affecting the entire picture, but we can make it so it only affects the eye by making it a child layer of the pixel layer that we created before. To do this, we'll come back to the Layer Studio and then press on Layer Options at the top left. Now we'll click and drag on the HSL Adjustment layer and place it on top of the pixel layer. Make sure you get a blue square like this before you release. Now our HSL adjustment is only being applied to the pixel layer. And of course, we can continue changing the hue and saturation in the contextual toolbar. For more realistic eye colors, I recommend that you decrease the saturation to around negative 50%. Then you can continue changing the hue. My second tip for you is how you can add or remove from the pixel layer that we created. If you missed a couple spots of the eye and want to continue painting, just select the paintbrush and then you can continue painting. But as you paint, you'll notice that it's not looking quite right. That's because in this case, we're actually painting on the HSL adjustment. To undo this, I'll press on the undo arrow at the bottom right. If we press on the triangle in the Layer Studio, you'll see that we have a pixel layer and an HSL adjustment layer. If we missed a couple spots of the eye and want to continue painting on the pixel layer, we need to make sure that we have the pixel layer selected and not the HSL adjustment. Now you can continue painting to add on any areas that you might have missed. And if you ever paint too much, just select the Eraser tool and erase from the extra areas that you painted on. By using the paintbrush and the eraser, you can continue to refine where your new eye color is being applied. You now have all the skills you need to change people's eye color in any photo.